Hello, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com and in today's After Effects tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this. It's an LED signboard, just like the kind you'd see at a football stadium or a convention center. It's really simple to produce and uh, uses the standard tool set found in After Effects CS3, CS4 or CS5. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new composition and we'll call it LED signboard. Now we want to make it the uh, same size as the signboard itself, so uh, looking at a thousand pixels wide, 220 pixels tall, I'm working with PAL as always, so it's 25 frames per second, and we'll make it 10 seconds long, and hit OK. Next we uh, create a new solid, make sure it matches the composition size, and we'll make it a darkish grey, and we'll call it dark LEDs and hit OK. Now in your effects and presets panel type CC Ball to find the CC Ball action effect and drag that onto your dark LEDs and it'll create this and as you can see it turns our uh, dark grey solid into um, a series of balls arranged in the grid. Now it's not quite how we want it to look just yet so uh, let's make a few changes. In the effects control panel um, just change the ball size to 50% and that will uh, give them more a little bit more space to uh, to breathe. Next step is to create another new solid. This time it's going to be white. Again same dimensions as your composition and we'll call this dark LED highlights. And hit OK. Take the uh, CC ball action effect from your dark LEDs. Hit Control C to copy it and just paste it with Control V onto your highlights. Go up to the ball size once again and change it to 20% and that creates some, some small dots of light. Now they're not quite in the right uh, place at the moment so I'll just scroll in. With the dark LED highlights layer selected just tap the uh, left and up cursors to uh, lift the highlights into the top left hand corner of our LEDs. It's a little bit bright at the moment, so right click, go to blending mode, and select overlay. And immediately you can see that gives us a kind of glass ball effect, just as it would if they were um, real LEDs underneath there. Okay, next step is to create our text. So uh, select the text tool and type whatever text you like. So uh, we're going for shortformvideo.com. Go to your character panel and uh, just select a nice simple typeface. Arial Bold is a really, really good choice for this, but obviously you can choose anything you like. Now you want to make the size about the, uh, the same height as your project. So um, in my case, we're looking at about 295. And I'll just nudge that down, see how well it matches up. Basically you want the text to uh, line up with the top and bottom of your LEDs. And finally just change the text color to a nice bright orange. And hit OK. Once again go to your dark LEDs layer and uh, just copy the ball action effect and paste it onto your new text layer. And immediately you can see where we're going with this. It, it takes the, um, the text and basically applies the same effect, creating this uh, lit LED look. But it's not very convincing right now. So um, we just need to do a, a couple more things to it. First off, we're going to animate it. So um, select your text layer, hit P to bring up the position values. Hold down Shift and drag the X value off to the left, just to scroll the text off to one side. Create a keyframe, then move the timeline indicator to the end of your timeline, hold down shift, and just drag the X value until the text you've typed in goes off the left hand side. And if I just scrub through the timeline, you see that gives us our scrolling text. Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far, but it could look a little bit better. The first thing we're going to do is duplicate our text layer. So hit Control and D. And we'll just rename it to 
bright LED highlights. Double click to select the text and change the text color to white. And just like we did with the dark LED highlights, we're going to decrease the ball size, but this time to about 25. Now, unlike the uh, dark LEDs, which are lit by an external light, so their, um, their highlights are at the top left, the uh, bright LEDs are lit by the LED inside. So obviously the brightest point on those is gonna be smack in the center, just as it is here. So I'm um, just gonna give it a final touch, right click, go to blending mode and select screen. And that'll just brighten them up even more. And the final step is to go back to your original text layer, the shortformvideo.com text layer, and go to your effects and presets and find the glow effect and just drag that onto the base text layer. Now immediately that uh, gives us a sense that these are, are lights and they're casting light on the objects around them, but it's not quite enough. So I'm just gonna go to the glow effect and I'm gonna increase the radius to about 25. Just so it looks as though those lights are casting um, a glow onto the uh, the adjacent dark LEDs. So um, I'll scroll out, render that out, and there you have it, a nice easy LED signboard with whatever text you, uh, you want to put in it, and uh, you can now take that and corner pin it into a scene of your choice. Hope you found it useful, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.